So what's the story with going to non-kosher sushi restaurants? Can I do that? The we policy is that a person should not do that for a few reasons. First of all, the ingredients themselves are highly questionable. Many of them are kosher sensitive. We've spoken earlier about the potential kosher issues with the fish itself. Because the fish without skin on it, one cannot assume what it is based on a sushi restaurant selling it. That's one issue. Even if a person were to get salmon and they'd be sure that the salmon was definitely a kosher fish, we would still have concerns about the knife, the board, the gloves, and the other equipment that was used to handle even that salmon part of the sushi, which would have to be washed and scraped as we discussed in a previous video. In addition to that, there are issues with the rice, which is a food that is inedible raw and must be cooked by a Jewish person since it's fitting to serve at the king's table. There's also concerns about the toasted nori sheets that you'd be using to wrap up the fish. That also needs a kosher supervision and just to make sure that it's properly handled in terms of shrimps and seahorses that could potentially be caught in the seaweed before it's turned into paper. It also can be toasted along with flavors like chicken powder and shrimp powder, that's a common thing. There's also rice wine vinegar that would potentially be used in their product, and sometimes you'll see that companies use red wine vinegar, which would have issues of non-kosher wine that's used for marinating either the rice, the vegetables, or the fish itself. So the bottom line is, if a person were to buy sushi from a non-kosher fish restaurant, they would have to get rid of the fish, the rice, and the nori, and potentially the vegetables, and they'd basically be left with the plastic container that it came with, which if you really want to eat it, you could, but you'd have to wash it with soap and water first.